Click subscribe to get latest news and don't forget to press the bell icon. President Trump condemned the egregious, racially charged clashes in Charlottesville, VA, on Saturday, but avoided putting more blame on any particular group, saying hatred by many sides was to blame. Trump made the remarks shortly after it was confirmed that one person had been killed and more than a dozen others injured after a car plowed into a crowd of people protesting white nationalist and Nazi groups marching Saturday in Charlottesville, VA. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry and violence on many sides, on many sides, Trump said at a press conference from his New Jersey golf course. It's been going on for a long time in our country. Not Donald Trump, not Barack Obama. This has been going on for a long, long time, he continued. Trump also called attention to the economy during his remarks, and praised state and local police at an event meant to highlight accomplishments by the Department of Veterans Affairs during his administration. Our country is doing very well in so many ways. We have record. Just absolute record employment. We have unemployment the lowest it's been in almost 17 years. We have companies pouring into our country. Foxconn and car companies and so many others, they're coming back to our country. We're renegotiating trade deals to make them great for our country and great for the American worker, he said. Trump came under criticism for not condemning the far-right groups marching in Virginia, and for a statement that instead criticized violence by many sides. Mr. President, we must call evil by its name. These were white supremacists and this was domestic terrorism, Senator Cory Gardner, our Colorado, wrote on Twitter. White supremacists, neo-Nazis and anti-Semites are the antithesis of our American values, wrote Rep. Ileana Rosladinen, a Republican House member from Florida. There are no other sites to hatred and bigotry. Senator Marco Rubio, our Florida, said in a message on Twitter it was very important for the nation to hear at POTUS describe events in hash Charlottesville for what they are, a terror attack by hash white supremacists. White nationalist, white supremacist and alt-right groups were initially scheduled together in Charlottesville's Emancipation Park Saturday to protest the city's decision to remove a Confederate statue there. But as clashes broke out ahead of the so-called Unite the Right rally Saturday morning, police declared the gathering an unlawful assembly, breaking up the event before it officially began. Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe, D, confirmed Saturday night that at least three people were killed in the violent clashes. The president first condemned the event on Twitter hours after the violence ensued. We all must be united and condemn all that hate stands for. There is no place for this kind of violence in America. Let's come together as one. 10:19 p.m., August 12, 2017.